Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Gavin. I'm Kelly. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And goats. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Welcome back, everyone. It's so nice to see you. Right now, we're getting ready to head over to the farm. Interestingly enough, the temperatures are beautiful outside. We're looking at highs in the 40s today, which is something we are not used to. I would let you go to the farm if there was somebody there to watch you, but it's only going to be me. I'll tell you what, if I can get you later on, I will. I'm sorry. It's okay, Daddy. I believe the workday is going to be pretty standard. We don't have too much going on besides chores. We do, however, have to make a delivery this morning of some produce that we have at the farm. I got a call from a restaurant. They needed some things, so we'll be making a little bit of a delivery sometime this morning. The only downsides with the weather I could see today is that we're dealing with some drizzle here this morning. It's going to be making everything sloppy on top of all the rain that we've got last night it got rid of much of the snow that was laying in this area so we have a foggy wet rainy day on our hands which is surely gonna make things a lot more interesting man these farmers are still on vacation I wonder if they're ever gonna open back up into the big boots these will definitely help today Over the past couple days, the temperature has not dipped below freezing, even at nights, which has been making this job a lot easier. I haven't had to worry about frozen water lines, and it just makes me feel a little more comfortable with the animal's health. I uh, really start to worry about that when the temperature drops. So when I don't have to worry about the temperatures being too low, well, that just makes me feel a whole lot better. <laughs> Still a little slick out here. It's a little sloppy down here, but below this slop, the ground is still frozen. So this water doesn't have anywhere to go. Once it can finally soak down into the ground, I think it'll look a lot better. What, uh, what was going on here last night? Huh? Let's just fix that. Okay then. Hey, good morning, babies. Throughout the time I've been here by myself, I've spent a lot of time with these cattle, and that has been something I've enjoyed. I usually don't feed the calves too much, that's dad's job. It's something he really likes to do, and you start to see the reason why after you spend a little more time with these calves, you start to bond with them a little bit more. And I feel like they're more comfortable with me now as from before. The only thing I will say it is a little bit different on is this calf right down here. I picked up this calf uh, after dad has left. So this calf has only known me and I think we've gotten pretty close. This is my buddy. And since we've been so close, I've been trying to give him a proper name and I can't really think of something. So I'm still working on it. I saw some good suggestions in the comments, um, but we got him when it was really, really cold. So I'm trying to do something with really, really cold. Very good, very good. Calves are all taken care of. We've got grain dumped in here. I put this barrel here because they kept pushing over their fence. But you know what? They just like the barrel so much. I think I'm glad I put it there. Give them something to look at. They're just amazed by that barrel being there. I moved the barrel away the other day and then I put it back and they're like, oh, thank goodness, the barrel's back. I was about to go and grab the skid steer loader so I could go up and get some silage. But as I'm looking around, it seems like the cattle have plenty of silage in their feeders. I think once I added that new round bale in, the cattle have really slowed down and eaten their silage. And I think I fed a little too much yesterday to the uh, penned up cattle. So, I mean, sometimes you do that, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna feed grain and then move on to chickens.
I can tell that the cattle aren't too hungry because usually when I'm here in the feeders dumping grain, all the cattle get up and start running over. I mean, I've had a few of the cattle come running over, but for the most part, everybody's just kind of relaxed and laying down. Okay, here we go. We got some more coming over here. I think everybody's just slow waking up this morning because here in the back, we got cattle all laying down, just relaxing. And that's gonna be it. Cattle are now all fed. It looks like they're slowly getting up and starting to eat. Um, yeah, it's been kind of a slow, easy morning. It's kind of like misting out here. It's like we're in one big cloud. I mean, you can't, you can't really see that far. Can't see the mountains. Can't even see the tree line on top of the hill. So it's not like, it's not bad out here, but it's like weather that you're not enjoying working in. If you were working out in this all morning, you'd be soaked by the end of the morning. This is something I'm also being very careful about walking on because even though this looks kind of muddy and kind of sloppy, this is all ice here. And it'd be easy to just go, woo! Well, that's gonna wrap up my morning. Animals have all been taken care of, eggs have been collected. We went for a little walk to check on all the water bowls. I went and checked on the calves water again. They are all good. It's amazing how different the weather is now. I remember just yesterday coming here and looking out and this was all covered in snow. Everything was white. Where I was walking, there was a lot of snow, but I guess spring is on the way, right? <laughs> no, it's still January, which is, Okay, I don't care, but it's just funny that there's no more snow. But if I'm being completely honest, we haven't had much snow stick around for a while. I remember the past few years we've had storms, snowstorms, but then two days later everything is gone. Uh, having snow sit around for a week and a half, two weeks like this, that was pretty interesting. I will say I wouldn't mind if the snow stayed around, but those temperatures that we were dealing with made work much more difficult. It was not fun for a while there. But it is what it is. As long as the family's enjoying themselves down there, I guess I'll stay up here and work hard for them. You know, I saw a few comments ask me how I was doing by myself. I've been doing pretty good. The work hasn't been too difficult. I know what I'm doing. I've done this since I was a little boy. Um, but the only thing that does bug me is not having my family around. Now I've got my immediate family, my wife and daughter, those two little babies in there. But I'm one of those people that really enjoys spending time with the family and family vacation is something I've always really, really enjoyed. I mean, because of the circumstances, I think we're making the right decision staying home. I mean, well, we were kind of told we had to, but still, I think we made the right decision. So I usually get a call from my dad every day. I'll call my brothers just to check in on them, you know, make sure they don't miss me too much, and they call me as well. I'm glad I've got Joel, Megan, Gavin, the rest of the family around here too, and Grammy. They've been making sure I've been getting everything done. They've been keeping a close watch on me. But all in all, I'm happy the whole family was able to go on vacation. They deserved it. And this vacation kind of prepares you because, ho, 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 the work is coming. Thank you, have a nice day. I was just walking around in here talking to the camera and then a customer showed up and she was like, oh, you're closed? I'm like, yeah, we're closed. But you know, being in a small business, you ask this question, but what did you need? What do you need? And she just needed eggs. And I told her I had plenty of eggs. Which leads me to answering a question that I've seen in my comments is, what am I doing with all the eggs? Well, a little known fact, um, 
eggs store for a while. Now you might not have known that, but the eggs do store for quite some time. Uh, but we don't even have to worry about that. We could let all of our eggs sit in the coolers. We don't even have to worry about them. However, uh, we've got restaurants locally. We've got a few regulars that are coming that I've been dispensing eggs to. And if people catch me, Usually they're looking for eggs, so I can usually supply a little bit. So we don't have to worry too much about the eggs. They're gonna be completely fine. Uh, I believe the eggs that a lot of people get in stores are almost months old. It's pretty interesting how long you can actually store eggs at a certain temperature. Um, I know there's different things you can do if you don't wash eggs. There's also other things that people use to store eggs and it is pretty cool um, but we've never had that problem we've never had to store them for longer than a week week and a half which is the situation i'm in now these eggs that we have when we do open back up and all the customers start coming those eggs are still so much fresher than anything you'd get in like a supermarket so now here's the thing since we are all done the next order of business is heading out and getting this order taken care of. So I'm gonna be going to one of these local restaurants. They needed peanut butter, cinnamon shallots, uh, eggs, and some apples. And I've already got it all put together. I just need to take it over there. I got the order moved into the van and now I'm making the delivery. Well, that kind of worked out. I made my delivery. I picked up some food and they gave me a free coffee for delivery. Not only did I get a free coffee, but some of my friends were there. So I was able to talk to a few of my friends for a while. That was nice. One big thing I'll mention is this place is called Sugar and Loaf Bakery. So if you've ever been to the farm, sometimes we will have like breads and other stuff baked by them here. They also have a little restaurant inside. So if you ever come to the farm market, and you wanna check it out, I would suggest you do so because they make some good food. Now that we've got that all taken care of, we can now go home. I picked up some food for Callie and Lauren, so I'm sure they're excited about it. All in all, today has been good so far. Haven't had any issues. The weather has not agreed with us at all. It's been pretty sloppy. Uh, the sun has not come out, it is still hiding. But as long as there's no problems, I'll stop complaining for today, or at least for this morning. We can always complain in the afternoon. Just got back with the food and Callie was telling me something important. What's wrong with mommy? Mommy's so tired. Oh, mommy is tired, so we're gonna take care of mommy. We're gonna get this food all taken care of. We're gonna have a nice breakfast, aren't we? I wanna I eat the pancakes. Yep, you wanna eat the pancakes. I am back at the farm. I have thoroughly enjoyed my day. I spent a lot of time working at the house, getting everything ready for the babies. And by getting everything ready, I was doing everything that Lauren wanted. I was hanging shelves, I was moving stuff around, and I wanted to show you, we've got a little over a half inch of rain in the gauge. So last night into this morning, half inch of rain, which I guess it's not too bad, but when you add on top of all of that, the melting snow, it's quite a bit of water. Now, thankfully, with all the extra fill that we've added down around back, our efforts at grading things a little differently, it's helped out quite a bit. Now, it's by no means perfect. No means perfect. I would not say that. There are puddles everywhere down there, but um, the animals aren't sitting in the slop, which that makes me happy. So my day is basically structured the same as every single day that I've been working. Uh, we get the animals done in the morning, we move into the afternoon, and I end up doing the same thing. So what I'm gonna get done first is feeding calves, and then I'm gonna move into cattle, and then just checking on the chickens. Now, I don't know if it's fun watching me do the same thing every day. I don't feel like I'm doing the same thing uh, every day, but I enjoy what I do, so. Maybe that's helping me out. Now with the upcoming videos that I am working on, I would like to know from you guys, what would you like to see uh, or learn about? Now I understand a lot of people are gonna wanna learn about the family. Uh, maybe in the future we can do some family videos. Joel has done one recently. I'm not too keen on doing a whole family video. That'd take a long time and getting everything set up for that, but. Uh, just let me know what you guys are interested in. And if you really are interested in like a family video, just tell me, uh, we'll see what we can do. I don't know how in depth I can go. 
we got a big family. But yeah, let me know what you guys would like to see and we'll try and incorporate that in some upcoming videos. This is kind of the slow time of the year. We are gonna be moving into greenhouses shortly, but just let me know your thoughts. I guess we got the nicest day we've had in a few weeks. All the cattle decide to go out for a walk. Looks like all the cattle were down here eating some grass, enjoying themselves. But I think they heard me moving around up here and now they're starting to come home. They want some grain. I thought it was gonna take some time for them to get up here, but when they started hearing those buckets clanging around, they just started running. And that should wrap it up for today. Animals are now all taken care of. The last thing I really need to do down here is check on the chickens, make sure they have food and water, and then that's it for the animals. Yeah, I see some water back in there. I put feed in here this morning. They are good, fresh bedding down. That's what we like to see. That makes us happy. Oh, Grammy! I came to check on ya! Oh, I got my work all done. I'm heading home to party, eat some dinner. Oh. Yeah, what have you been doing today? At doctor's appointment. Oh, that's not fun. And then what else? That's all, now I'm playing chords. Oh, good. Well, that was nice. I got to spend some time with Grammy. She told me what she was making for dinner. She's having crab legs. I almost stayed. That sounds good. But uh, Lauren's got good plans for dinner at home tonight. The only thing she asked me to do was put a letter in the mailbox for her, and I think I can manage that. I was just about to leave and head home, but I saw this strange looking fella hanging outside the barn. Hello. How are the horses today? They're great. They're... No. Top notch? Yeah, they're top notch. Oh, wow. How was the weather down there? Was it sloppy? It was very sloppy. Okay, it's sloppy over on our side of the barn, so we can just go for universal slop at an all-time high. Mm -hmm. Until tomorrow, then it's even higher. Yeah, slop is it high right now. Tomorrow is gonna be like really high slop quality. No good. No good, too much slop. I love your dress. Oh, I'm a nice pop. Can you show me a spin? Woohoo! Now for dinner tonight, Lauren and I have been working on something special, chicken tikka masala. Ooh! Yeah, it's gonna be good. Lauren did a bulk of the work. I just got home and helped a little bit. So you know we appreciate that. Now since we're getting ready to eat dinner, there is something I'd like to mention. If you guys enjoy videos like this, please make sure to subscribe. Also, if you'd like to see more farming videos, check out our channel. We've got quite a few. But as always guys, I'd like to thank everybody for stopping by and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye